Greetings, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Welcome to Rarikawa Mystics. I am Rarikawa I, and we are here to do the What's Up with Your Divine Love. See how they're feeling, see how what they are thinking, and how they are moving towards this connection. Okay, first of all, we're going to get some information on you. I say information, excuse me. Social research out here. Um, we're going to get some advice for you in regards to your purpose, what you could be doing right now to fulfill your life mission. Uh, we're going to have one for you, one for your divine mate, and uh, what the collective purpose is between you two, at least one of them, okay? Purpose towards your life mission. Purpose is something that you do right now to get you towards the bigger picture, the, the grander scheme of things, you know? Okay, so let's go. Let's start with the water sign that is watching now. What is the main purpose focus right now here. okay you have freedom you are free to do what you choose Ooh. okay okay this is for what's in between you trust it says trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path okay and for your divine mate you just flipped off of, flipped off to me quiet baby your soul longs to express itself creatively so this is an interesting spread there nothing um i look at that underneath the deck you have yoga your life is enhanced by yoga stretching and exercising so anything in this regard is going to be good for you all so I have to tell the children to keep it down a little so yoga your life is enhanced by yoga stretching and exercising this will go work bold well for both of you and obviously always um exercise and just getting your physical body moving is really good to help you stay clear and attuned to your alignment to your um to your higher self ultimately you know so take time to uh yeah stretch and exercise and do some yoga okay also know your divine partner is being urged to express themselves creatively painting drawing singing dancing whatever it is they need to express themselves creatively that helps in their career path and for you the one watching he says you are free to do what you choose if you're thinking of a career change yes you are free to do and you'll be guided along the way you have to trust that for both of you you have to trust that your feelings and dreams will guide you to to your career path or towards your career path or to fulfill yourself within the career path so yes trust that your feelings that you're getting that you want to um you want to break free we are now in the Aquarius age so yes we are in the Aquarius age and we are also in the Aquarius season um, and so freedom is going to be a big key. It's going to be a big um, focus for us until now, from now until like early March. That's when Aquarius season ends about the third. But obviously the energy continues on, but this is the spike of it right now. So yeah, freedom and just being, just realizing our interdependence, which is one of the um, posts I wrote for the Daily Para. Realizing our, te our interdependence is, is important. Realizing that we don't have to be with everybody all the time we shouldn't try and be by ourselves all the time we are connected whether we're with them or without them okay right so trust that trust your feelings trust your dreams and take take heed of the dreams that you are having as well what do you see in your dreams how do you feel about your dreams those are cues from your other life yeah from your um 5d um and up dimensional selves to let you know how you can best maneuver in this physical realm right Okay, I'm going to pick these up there right now. So, what is your divine mate feeling like? I'm going to shuffle and then pick from the top, right? That's my new thing. Last, um, this weekend I tried to do some readings, but it was not happening. I had to take a break from all social media in because, yeah, um, my soul was pulling me somewhere else. <laughs> Out of the mainstream, onto the unseen, we're doing a spiritual work. Okay, first three cards slipped out for me. What we have here? Stand your ground, firm foundation, and truth. Oh, these are very like um stealth kind of energies. Stand your ground. Firm foundation and the truth. This is how they're feeling. They're feeling for themselves. They need to they need to make a decision and stick to it. 
whatever decision that's going to make them feel strong and firm in their foundation. Okay? And whatever feels like the best, the, not the best truth, the truth to them. And um, that sounds kind of wavery because, you know, I'm, I'm all about, you know, the base truth. Everybody has to know the base truth. And then other things that come is going to be different for each person because everybody has their own walk, right? Um, yeah, because I just had a talk about that. I will not talk about it, just uh, there's a post about that. Um, Zach, Zach Mortimer, he's on my um, Instagram. Yeah, yeah definitely um, a soul tribe member, but um, we had a little difference of opinion. And usually he'll be like, send me a message straight whenever I like or don't like something. Um, this time he just left. It's been 11 hours since. So it's all good, Jack. It's all good. Did I call you Jack? Sorry, Zach. Zachariah. Zachariah, yes. Um, yeah, don't. I mean, it's all good to disagree. We're all learning and living and living, learning, be. Um, yeah, I might change my mind and you may change yours, who knows? But um, for me, what I know is that there definitely is a soul truth. And then through, through different phases and stages that we go through, we get to know certain things. And everybody has a key. Everybody has a code. Everybody knows something that somebody else doesn't. And when you come together and share that, we connect the dots for ourselves as well. We, we uh, you know, we put the puzzles together. You have your puzzle pieces. I have my puzzle pieces. We come and put them together. Then it's the whole picture, you know? So anyway, what is your divine partner? feeling water sign they're like yeah we're gonna do, i'm gonna stand my ground in my innate knowing right how i can best like stabilize this foundation in soul's truth okay and what i'm actually picking up is like okay yeah so i know i'm feeling like you know my my the connection right now i know it's a connection i know it's there Okay, but it's not. It's non commu. It's non communicative, uh, non committal almost. Only non committal because it's non communicative. Isn't in this three D realm. Um, but you know, as we get to the twin soul and two flame connections, we are definitely interdependent, and we are definitely connected um, in higher realms besides this three D or four D. Right, and they they're wanting to to stick to their truth. Like not allow the 3d to kind of waver them they know that the connection is a connection that is divinely guided okay and what they need to do to keep realizing that regardless of whether it's there physically or not is keep the balance i'm all i'm all i'm all i'm all please i don't need you to repeat after me every mic. remember you said you're gonna keep coming here and be quiet thank you Keeping the balance, keeping the balance, keeping the balance. Okay, wow. up underneath the deck as well, we have temptation wow. and sticking out as well. We have here light. Wow. So even though there is temptation around to wow. to stray from the connection, even though there is like um yeah, because uh, there was even a reading I heard just recently, and this is something I spoke about a long time ago, and I haven't like dwelled into it again, but. These divine connections are serious. Remember, where there's good and there's bad. And don't ever forget, the war is always spiritual first. That's why it's so imperative that the world gets to know that spirituality comes before the manifested physicality of things. So when you get yourself into a car crash or something like that, or you get yourself, whatever, so that's it. whatever happens to you, there's some there's things leading up to it, whether it's your thoughts, your feelings, whether they're your own, whether they are they have been um, um, intercepted or you know sometimes it's, it's um, thought forms, demonic thought forms that come in you or that you accumulated that you 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 got from. It always happens um, sexually, right? These thought forms are usually always happen sexually, sexually transmitted thought forms. Or demonic forms that's non-conducive to you that will pull you off your track have your mind fogged have um, people around you that is really non-conducive to you but you can't seem to shake them or you can't seem to pull away from them or you always find all these kinds of things but even in the midst of being in the situation you can see it outside of yourself you can see yourself outside of yourself in the situation knowing that it's not conducive for you but you once you get back in or once you get back into your 3d sense is this you still can't find a way through but the light is creeping in because even just you realizing that is a big deal okay so what that's what they're feeling i know this went in a little let's see what they're thinking okay what's that memories of love 
feel like I've done this reading already and I did do two readings this I said already that I couldn't put out because I wasn't sure if it was for me or the collective and then this messages were coming out a bit bad so we also have fulfillment of wishes and patience and planning so this is what they're thinking memories of love fulfillment of wishes and patience and planning again because with this this foundation that they want to build strong and firm they want they want it to be their wish fulfillment like of course he wants to just have uh, i mean you know some people just want to think for now and that's all good but we're looking at the longevity of things so in standing your ground you're looking about you're looking um sorry your partner standing their ground yes but also in the midst of that looking back at the connection realizing the past connection past life connection let me see like the even just um thinking about the connection now will draw them into thinking about co the connection as a lifetime as past lifetimes like whether they realize it or not the kind of um the feelings that they get when they think about you now it makes them realize that this is not this is not it's not normal it's not ordinary love definitely it's a kind of like it's a deep-seated knowing deep-seated loving and that is because you have all you have loved each other before you have been in, in each other's lives before you know so what this is what they even want in this, this is what they're feeling that they need to stand their ground more because in this life they know that this connection has been before and in this life, they're looking back at the interactions now, and and it seeps into the past lives. And regard in regards to um, the fulfillment of wishes, yes, they they realize again that they they want that wish fulfillment. They don't just they don't just want anything. They want that true complementary, and they are willing to be patient. <laughs> And plan this ish out. What's the name of the deck here? Trapped in fear. Like, yeah. Understanding that there are, um, you know, mental conflicts between you two. But wanting to be patient regardless. And wanting to remove themselves away from these kind of feelings cyclic like you know just uh, wanting knowing that they need to own their power in this realm right here physically their truth it's like the 3d and the mundane the 4d world is pulling them off their their spiritual truth their spiritual knowing but they're working on um yeah always looking to their truth keeping the balance okay so what kind of movement forward Three card just slipped out again. Keep slipping out in threes. We have here the shadow, <laughs> the balance. Ooh yes, and victory and success. That's lovely. Okay. Yeah, working on the isms and shisms, like definitely but with that trapped in fear, like that number eight stood out to me because um, number eight is all about you checking your cyclic nature, checking your cycles in life. You know, realizing your power, uh, realizing the infinite abundance of life you know the infiniteness of life even you know we have been here many times we have recycled many times we are here to own our power realize the power that we have on this dime you know and that takes that takes you looking at your dark side and your light side that is encompassing one no matter how me myself light and love you know and i'm not even one to spew that all the time light and love i'm just all about the truth and um uprightness right 
I, I, I do some non-uprightness shit sometimes, you know, and I, I, I don't really lie, but sometimes the truth is curbed. I might not say something, I say that, <laughs> you know, but I know I'm not, I'm not a liar at all, but um, yes, I may not always disclose everything, okay? So those are things to work on, and we all have our good and our bad side to work on. Okay, good to to um good to make it even greater, and bad to ameliorate so it doesn't have to um waver, you know, especially your light. Because in in this paradigm, we are here to shine light. And definitely keeping the balance, doing that self-evaluation, self-check and balances. You know, what am I thinking? What am I feeling? Is it conducive or not? Is it cool or not? Like truly. And are you taking heed? Are you taking heed, careful? Are you taking heed of your lessons? Are you being appreciative? Are you are you giving thanks for your blessings? Are you being are you giving thanks right now for just being able to sit and watch this? you know getting this getting this um however it comes to you like you know because you know even with this um, youtube thing like sometimes like it's the simplest of things you have a lot of um so so called divine people that you know will be sitting there watching these videos like no one's paying me for this by the way and no one has to pay me for this but um you know so i i, I deal with a lot of um most people that watch me are other readers themselves or just they're just mystics themselves and a lot of people are coming in that i'm, I'm trying to meet in and they might not um, really know their mystic nature but they're naturally mystic people as you all are but i'm i'm, I'm pulling and drawing onto onto my soul tribe and people that you know have it within them and see the little crap you know what i mean so Oh shoot, where did that go? But balance is key, balance is needed. <laughs> the checks and balances, I just lost my foot, my trail of thought or trail of track, whatever it's called. Um, yes, we're all here during the work, and this is what I was going on to. Some readers, like they you know, and you know, usually I don't, I don't do, I need quiet, please. readers need um, that same way we know that healers need healers or menders need menders and um, readers also go to other readers right and sometimes um they can be quite judgmental if the reader's not up to par or doesn't give you the message that they want and all of these things and i'm like yo like we all have different ways of, of delivering and we can't be like you know i mean I, i'm basically the whole thing about us all me having works to do i see it more prevalent in the people that are, that are doing the works because i for myself as well i see it outside because it's also within me again we are all here doing the works and we all have like different keys already installed and ingrained in us and we still have other things that we need to learn as well you know so no one's perfect and we all have to do the balancing act basically and once we can uh, you know really own up to that victory and success is thou you know so this yes, movement will be made forward once the balance is you know like this <laughs> like really felt really um held and all of that good stuff and in a stand in the dark and the light side and that's what the balance is all about it's not to like stop the dark side fully and only work with the light it's it's about balancing because sometimes that dark side of you needs to come out to move some shit out of the way because some people only know dark do you know what i mean but you know that dark all the way, all the time, is not going to be conducive for you, especially as we move in to the golden Aquarius age, which I just got heard, just got word through my guys that we are like very close. I thought it was much later, but because of all this accelerated healing that we've been going through this last year, 2018, a lot of people are really waking up and, and it's not like it's the most uncanny of people's you know like even this summer like i remember going into um going to class and just sitting down and hearing some conversations around me and i was like wow you know yes people are on this thing they're really opening up and even like um so many people are talking about simple things like energy like whether they realize it or not what it means just putting the word out there is is a great thing because it just opens people up you know it, it's that gong for most ears divine ears and we need that that is what's going to bring our success and our victory 
okay and these unions right once we check our dark and light side and balance and that and don't ever think that everything is is um a um it's all internal and all of these things. some things are external but are meant for you to, as a lesson i.e these demons i speak on like no of course we didn't bring those in but maybe our actions maybe sleeping with someone that you know you were not really supposed to sleep with brought that in because you know like yo like that's why sex is so important it's a, absolutely the most optimal optimal magical tool in this creation in this paradigm here creative tool but it's also as uh, as good as it can be is as detrimental as it can be so if you sleep with the wrong person like that is detrimental for you if you sleep with the right person that is a complete success for you you know and these things don't have to come like straight away they can develop after time so yeah realize that even though like i said i've been i mean i've been saying this i was gonna say like i said in this last video but i don't think it's on the youtube or the name truths and it's anyways good and bad they all have a place okay i always say this in regards to uh, donald trump because when he came through a lot of people were like oh my god um but no because again like and i don't think he's bad at all to be honest like i know he's got his like ways but these are all these kind of things that he comes with it just it just kind of shakes people up and sometimes people need that shake up to move to make the moves because most time they'll be stagnant otherwise you know so that's what I'm saying, and that's that's like it happens to the best of us because I I even been going through some stuff myself personally that um, I just left to the wayside, and then when I got shook up with it, that's when it made me move. Do you know what I mean? And so don't let that be the case. This is why we need to do the checks and balances daily, regularly. Like, what are you really thinking? What are you really feeling? What are you really doing? Is it conducive to the bigger picture or not? So before we move into these unions again, we have to check all these things. Yes, the, the memories of love is there. You, you, yes, you want to go for that divine love. And you know you have to be patient and with the planning. And it will be victorious. But you have to stand your ground in loving yourself first, taking care of yourself first, checking and balancing yourself first, and make sure you're coming from your soul's truth first. You can go down. Okay, you are free to be. Express okay. yourself creatively. And trust your guides. They are guiding you. Take heed of your dreams. Okay? It will lead you to where you need to go to. Ooh, oh, temptation here again. Yeah, because you know what? There, there is. Again, like the, the twin flame journey, if I didn't express fully, like it's, a, it's twin flame or um, twin soul journey. Like you are here to show the world unconditional love. If you check the world as it's been brewing right now in the Piscean age, like you will see that like self love is deemed like selfish and um you know being independent is seen as egotistic and you know all kinds of things that's actually like important for us to do to check for to be about first and foremost for ourselves it's been deemed like wrong and it should be and, it's, and it seems or it's been put across like we have to do it the other way around like no don't do for self first do for others first so what do others do then? They do for you, and if they don't, who are you going to control? You've always been told, don't control, you can't control nobody. So how can you coerce somebody? And basically, it is a coercion, isn't it? Because if you're, you're doing something for someone to do it for you, what well, if they don't do it, then, you don't, then you're left without. Does that make sense? More the reasons why you should always be able to do for yourself, first and foremost. Right? Temptations abound, okay, and that's um we really have to check for ourselves. Don't allow people to do things for us for for the self, you know. Check because um in that sometimes involving ourselves with too many different kind of energies brings about those um those devil the devilish antics. Because this is the devil in the Rider Waite card, you know. And it's it's a, for me dev, devilish antics usually come when when the self doesn't want to make changes, when you want to be stagnant, when you want to overindulge. When you want to be wrong and strong, when you want to shine away from the light and like not take the keys. Rest and rejuvenation. I'm seeing the depiction and the story unraveling through the pictures. Rest and rejuvenation is the next thing that we need to do. To really get to, to seek the balance, to check the isms and schisms, oh. 
you know, to stand the ground and, and build on that firm foundation so we can realize that wish fulfillment and not have, not have just the memories of love, but actually have the love. Whilst you're planning for your future and being patient about the connection, trust, trust. And when I say planning your future, you know, be, be, be in the flow with your divinity, you know, be in the flow of your higher self, your authentic self. That's when we know we're creating divinely. Otherwise, it's all this issues and things. Ari, yeah, man, we have to go for our truth. Like this, this month as well is all about that. Not hiding away our um ourselves. Always doing the checks and balances. The high priestess came up as the major arcana for this month. And sorry, I hadn't got it up because I haven't got my calendar as I usually do for my um my cosmic calendar. And um, then the reading that I did, I kind of like wasn't able to post it and stuff like that. And the month it's almost done, so I thought I'd just leave it, start again next month. Um, but yes, water signs, and this is a bit longer than usual. Um, yes, stand your ground in speaking and seeking the soul's truth, then you'll be bestowed with much fulfillment, victory, and success. Okay, and all the love. Much love. More love, more love. More love.